the creative process, bringing something into the world that's never been here before, it doesn't happen because of following logical step by step by step by step. In the words of Van Gogh, he dreams his paintings and then he paints his dreams. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm very thrilled that you're here with us today for Let's Get Metaphysical show, where we take you into the world of the invisible forces driving your life in each moment. Let's continue. People who are out to create something new in the world, something that's never, ever existed before, They feel it in their heart, somewhere inside them. It's not something they're looking in their brain for pieces to figure out. They just know. They know it's going to happen. It's what I talk about that I call knowings. You have to know in your heart that it's your reality. So, for instance, in my life, if I want to write a song, if I want to write a book, I can let the universe know the topic I'm after. I don't do any work figuring it out. It just comes out. And if you read biographies or memoirs of people who created whole new paradigms, you'll find the same experiences happen across the board. Why? Because it's the spirit behind it that brings the energy to make it happen. Well, that sounds kind of weird to some of you. Well, you may have, I know I've done this. I spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on books, hundreds of books, on courses, taking courses, doing everything that they said to do step by step. And of course they said, and if you do what I do and you do it the way I did it, it'll happen for you the same way. That's not even possible. Think about it. It's not even conceivable because I don't care how detailed their descriptions and their steps are. They are not you. You are not them. You cannot duplicate a lifetime experience because you're following, endeavoring to follow what somebody else is doing when they're creating their experience. Think a moment. Just think a moment. You won't have to take a long time. How many courses, how many books have you read and studied? And then, wow, you get all excited and wow, I'm going to change my life. And then it's gone. It's gone. It's quickly gone. And you're on to the next book. And that's why if you're like I used to be, you have bookshelves and bookshelves. In fact, I had a whole shelf of business books, of all the scientific ways, of all the logical ways of creating whatever I was out to create. But the bottom line was, I knew since I was a little kid, if I wanted to create anything, I just did it. And I have to know how it was going to happen. I just knew the result that I wanted. So what if you could get yourself into the paradigm where you write down the dream you want to live, the program, the product, the spiritual path you want to create for you. You gotta do it for you first. What if you wrote that down and you spoke it aloud and you spoke it aloud to somebody else. Have you ever noticed when you speak your words aloud, they go in way more powerfully through your body, mind, and spirit? 
And when you then share those words with somebody else who's not going to make fun of you, who believes in you, who knows that that's how you create. So you have somebody else who's sharing in your vision because it's your vision that becomes your reality, but only when you have the faith because it's the spiritual dimension. It's those energies that bring things to life, that create reality. Now, if you want to create something that's never been created before, where do you think that desire came from? Clearly, it didn't come from a book or a product or a movie or somebody else's discussion. It came from it came from your spiritual dimensions. Remember, you are. Each of us is a divine spirit, spirit, having a human experience, but who we are basically inside, in truth, we are divine spiritual so, energy. Taking a quick break to notice something. If you've been watching me actively in the past year, my hair has gone very dark. It's not because I put something in it. It was silver when I started out. In fact, I was part of a group of women and we were the silver haired ladies. But this is happening naturally because my body is healing itself. And how is it doing that? It's using this kind of technology. It's not a Band-Aid. It's not putting anything in my body. That's not, it's turning my hair naturally dark again. And it's here to be sure my wrist continues to function even when I'm lifting heavy weights and moving my hand in interesting ways. My body is healing itself. I know that. I may not know the steps because I don't know the steps of the divine energies. I just know what I want in life. And by knowing what I want in life and feeling it in my heart is my reality. And even writing down my reality and sharing it, it happens. That's how my books come out. And that's how my songs come out. That's how I go into a store to go shopping. 90% of everything on my list, it's on sale. There are no accidents. It's the energies, the invisible forces driving our lives that make that happen for us in each moment, not just now and then, but in each moment. So I thank you for joining me here, Reverend Allie Bierman at the Let's Get Metaphysical show and reminding you you control your life. It's not some outside force. It's you tuning in to your spiritual aspect. When I had a brain injury many years ago, and I wasn't able to reverse directions, you know, reading the map, I lost my ability to read the map. So I would write down, okay, Go to this street, turn right. Go two more blocks, turn left. I couldn't reverse the directions. I just lost that ability. So what did I do? I let the universe guide me. And guess what? I never, ever got lost. I'd find my way through neighborhoods, 
and I'd always get to my desired destination, but only after I gave up trying to reverse the set of directions, which my logical brain could no longer do. And it wasn't logic that led me go this way, go that way. It was just something I felt. If you read stories of people who create amazing adventures, they don't know how it's going to happen. They don't plot their path. They don't make their map. They just know where they desire to end up. Now, they may have a surprise and end up someplace unexpected. Look at where Columbus was looking for the fast route to the Far East. And he came upon a whole new world because the world was here waiting for Europeans to discover it. You know, there were indigenous cultures here beforehand. But the Europeans came over. And boy, did they change things. Not so much coming from the heart, and that's where you can see the difference between indigenous cultures who left no footprint for thousands of years, lived in harmony with nature. And nature thrived, and the people thrived. Come from your heart. Connect with your spirit. Remember that logic never gets you where you want to go. He said, well, how can you get to the moon? You need physicists to do all the space travel. But where are their dreams coming from so that they get to create them, so that they're creating new laws or combining previous laws in new ways? We live in a spiritual world, and you are a divine spirit. Remember to join our Facebook group, make a new friend, ask questions, tell me what you want to know about. And take advantage of Audible's free gift for you. That's 30 days free membership. Go in, download the audiobook of your choice and explore, explore, explore. And the book I have for you, the audiobook I have for you, is Bob Proctor's Change Your Paradigm, Change Your Life. And it goes into great detail of everything I'm sharing with you here today. And it's an actual interview with Bob Proctor. And he's no longer here in person. But when asked how he wanted to be remembered, he had the coolest words. He said, I want to be known as a great student. Are you the student in your life discovering new pathways and new ways because you're tuning in? You know, I look forward to being here with you next time. And if you go over to alitlc.club, you can join me because there's some pretty cool stuff in there, including a book club to study a proctor's work. Remember to enjoy capital I N inside in joy. Live in joy. Every moment. Nothing in your life happens out there. It all happens within because you're tuning in to your spirit, your own spirit. And getting the guidance, you're taking steps, and you don't even know why you're taking them. But guess what? They're getting you where you want to go. I look forward to being here with you next time.